So you've heard the buzz about BitGet, but you're not quite sure where to start. Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to guide you through the ultimate cheat sheet to master the BitGet platform. Whether you're looking to trade crypto, earn some passive income, or dive into the world of derivative, BitGet has something to offer everyone. So let's break it down step by step so you can confidently navigate this powerful platform and take your crypto journey to the next level. All right, so first of all, we want to come on over here to bitget.com. Of course, our affiliate link is in the description down below. Take advantage of that affiliate link for bonus perks on sign up and trading. So what we want to do here is, of course, enter in a, an email address. We will set up a new account for today's video. And we also want to be putting in a password for this brand new account. And of course, Guys, always do your due diligence, reading the user agreements and the privacy policy, ticking the box we want to create that brand new account. So now we do have that new account created guys, there's a whole host of perks for signing up with BitGate, new users signing bonuses, a whole host that I do advise you guys do spend the time to discover, we will touch on that one shortly. But what we do want to do before we do anything with this exchange is back up the security, let's head on over and take a look at that. So by clicking on the top right hand menu there, we do come down into the security tab. And this is crucial before we do anything. We want to have as much security as we can. By adding two-factor authentication, backing up the account, we want this to be as strong and secure as it possibly can be. Now whether you want to have a passkey, the Google Authenticator, which is my preferred method, a sending a phone number to the account, and of course, having that email verification, which is already there, guys, you want to be as secure with you can with your digital assets. So go ahead pick your choice my preference is of course google authenticator but you can put in that pass key whichever is your preferred method then we can move on to the additional the more advanced security we can then add on funding codes have a withdrawal whitelist anti-phishing codes third-party uh, account management passwordless withdrawals and you can also cancel your withdrawals within this menu guys beef up your security keep your investments your digital assets as secure as they can be now, once we have done all of this, guys, we want to carry on with the admin before we do get advanced here. And we want to do our identity verification here. Simply by clicking on the tab, you will now come over to the menu and you can see your initial ID verification is just level one. This is to comply with the local laws and regulations. Please complete identity verification to access all services on BitGate, guys. Now, simply put here, you can do your government issued documents facial recognition, and this will all approximately be completed within 60 minutes. Verify your ID. So once we have completed all of the formal activities, we can then come down onto the coupons, something we touched on in the intro. We want to check out these coupons. This is a magnificent way to help us earn whilst using BitGet. A whole host of rewards here. We can see up to 6,200 USDT is sitting there whilst you are a new user with BitGet. Very simple tasks you can complete here. Spend the time going through this list, whether it is completing your ID verification, depositing for the first time over $50 and making your first trade. There's a whole host here, a whole host of challenges that you can complete to earn USDT. So all of the formalities now hopefully completed. We'll have a quick look here at the homepage. We have, of course, got all of our drop down menus across the time. Once again, I encourage you to spend the time going through everything that is listed here. Whether you're looking at the markets, you want to analyze all of the cryptos that are available here on BitGet, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Solana, USDC, XRP, Tuncoin. There is a huge variety here. Many pages, guys. All your favorite cryptocurrencies are available over here on BitGet. But this is also the added bonus with the BitGet exchange. You can then break it down into the sectors you want to look at. Perhaps we want to go in and specifically take a look at layer twos, whether it's Ethereum's layer two, Matic. You want to look at Arbitrum, IMX, Optimism, a whole host here. You can break it down through the ecosystems for Solana, Dog with Hat, perhaps it's Bonk, a whole host, guys, a fantastic platform that has been created here. So we can start to simplify all of the cryptos we want to find. Perhaps you are that DJ and you want to dive into the world of meme coins, whether it's Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Pepe, again, Dog with Hat, Bonk, Floki. A huge variety here, all available to you on the BitGet exchange. Or perhaps you are a bit more risk adverse and you want to trade futures, whether it's the Bitcoin Perpetual, Ethereum Perpetual, 
XRP, EOS. You guys, once again, a huge, fantastic list on BitGate where you can trade a whole host of leveraged positions here, one that we will touch on shortly. So moving on swiftly, we want to now take a look at the wallets that are provided here within BitGate. Simply coming up to the wallet tab and we will click on that drop down menu where we will land on the wallet overview. This is all of the assets that you will in time possess within your BitGet account. Now, whether this is through your spot wallet, margin, futures, or your copy trading, everything is easy to navigate on this platform. Today, we will have a quick look, first of all, at the spot wallet. Click on the tab here, and this will bring us over into our spot wallet account on BitGet. Now, of course, this is a brand new account. We have nothing onto there, and we will have a look of how to get USDT, get USDC, perhaps our own currencies onto BitGet Exchange. We'll have a quick look at that shortly. Now, there's a whole host of options that we have here. Bitcoin, USDT, Ethereum, these are all pre-populated into the account. And if you want to learn more about Bitcoin, perhaps you're unfamiliar with it, check out this video right here for all, everything that you do need to know about Bitcoin. So whilst we are here in the spot account, let's talk about depositing. How do we get money? onto BitGet Exchange. Well, simply put guys, when we click on the deposit tab here, and we will be brought over into the deposit side of things guys. So what we now want to understand, do we want to deposit either USDT or USDC? Do we want to directly deposit any form of cryptocurrency which we may choose here? For this instance, we're gonna have a look at USDT and how to deposit USDT on BitGet. Simply put here, selecting the USDT coin, and we want to choose which network we want to transfer on. Whether it's Tron, whether it's Ethereum, whether it's the Binance Smart Chain, this here will matter greatly. If you're sending it, perhaps from your MetaMask to BitGet, you want to choose these on the same chain. If you send them on the incorrect chain, the chances are you will not receive. Make sure your sending and receiving addresses are on the same chain. And if you want to learn more about MetaMask and how to transfer from Exchange to MetaMask or MetaMask to Exchange, check out this video in the top corner to learn more. So at this point, we're going to choose the Ethereum ERC20 chain and we will then be populated with our address. Simply put, we want to copy that address onto the exchange or the wallet we wish to send USDT from to the BitGet exchange, copying over this address 100% accurate on the same chain. This is how we deposit USDT onto BitGet. So we want to learn how to deposit USDC onto BitGet. The process remains the same. We want to come over into that spot wallet. We want to click deposit. And this of course will bring you over onto this menu. Selecting USDC coin, once again, selecting the correct network, whether it's the BIP20 chain, whether it's on Polygon ERC20, the C chain from AVAX or Solana's chain. Make sure the chain you're sending and receiving on are 100% correct. For this instance, we will use the BEP20, the Binance Smart Chain. Selecting that, once again, we will be populated with this address. Copying it 100% accurate with the same chain, wherever it's, you're sending it from an exchange or from a wallet, this must remain accurate, 100% accurate. The same chain, the same address. If you do not, you do risk not receiving your assets. And if you do want to learn more about USDC, in the top corner, there will be a video talking all about USDC, what it is and everything you need to know. So now we know how to get cryptocurrency onto the exchange. What about fiat? What about our currency, whether it's the pound, the dollar, the euro, the dirham, whatever it may be, how do we load onto exchanges from our bank accounts? Let's take a look. Depositing fiat onto the exchange isn't complicated guys when we come over to the home page we want to buy our crypto perhaps with a credit or a debit card selecting this option we will then be brought over into the menu displaying what it is we want to do so for instance for my case here i want to deposit great british pounds and what do i want to receive i want to receive usdt so for this instance let's see we're going to deposit 1000 pounds we would receive at the current moment in time 1194 usdt Entering this in, guys, you then want to buy your USDT. You will then be prompted of how you want to do this. Do you want to use your Visa card, your debit card, your credit cards, or perhaps you want to use Google Pay or Apple Pay? The options are here. You simply click the option you wish to use and proceed with the deposit. Now, perhaps you're here looking how to withdraw from BitGet. And again, the process is very simple. We will come over to the Buy Crypto tab here and click the Credit Debit Card option. 
And at this point, we want to scroll down to the More Services tab, how to deposit and withdraw Fiat. And we have been presented with deposit, but we want to withdraw. Clicking the Fiat Withdraw tab, it of course will now populate that option. Selecting the currency that you do wish to receive. For this instance, we will use the euro, and we can see that the fee is just one euro, and it usually takes around about two working days. Once again, simply clicking the next tab here, you are then asked to input your address for the withdrawal, agreeing to the Fiat Business Authorization Agreement. You will then be prompted to add the bank account that you wish to do this. This is obviously very simple, adding on that bank account and selecting just how much of that currency you do wish to withdraw. A very fast, simple and easy process of how to withdraw off of BitGate. So now that all the formalities are out of the way, we now want to know how do we buy cryptocurrency on the BitGate exchange. We have already loaded up our USDT or our USDC, whichever your choice was. How do we now buy cryptocurrencies? What we want to do at this point is come back up to the top menu and select trade. At this point, we're going to look at spot buy. Clicking on the spot tab here, you can see we will be populated with the overview for spot trading. At this instance, you can see we are looking at Bitcoin paired up with USDT, but hovering over this, you can then select whichever asset it is you want to buy. You can search the asset. Easy, intuitive, fast process. At this point, we're going to look to buy Bitcoin. What we're looking at right here is the trading view that is loaded up onto the BitGet exchange. Moving over, we can see the order book, where people are looking to sell, where people are looking to buy. Understanding if there is more selling orders, we're likely coming down in price. If there are more buying orders, we're likely going up in price. People are looking to buy the asset. So very easy to understand an order book, always good for picking up spots where you want to buy. For this instance, let's say we're looking to buy Bitcoin at 58,000. So we can see all the Bitcoin that is looking to be bought at this point. We want to try and grab this, but we could take advantage of that order book. And we can see where people are selling, perhaps the quantity that we are looking to buy. Easy put here, guys, depending on the asset, looking at that order book, you can see where people are perhaps looking to buy. So you could have a sell order at that price. And equally, where you're looking to buy, you can grab somebody else's sell order, an easy way of navigating that order book. And as we move over to the right hand side, we can look how to buy the asset that we want to buy. So of course we're looking to buy Bitcoin on spot, so the current price we're looking to buy and add to our HODL position. We of course are going to look at the limit initially here. Limit says that we can place the order where we would like to buy Bitcoin. So the current price, $58,089. An interesting one guys, let me know what price Bitcoin is at the time you're watching this video. So we're going to look to buy Bitcoin at $58,100. We want to place that order there. We will, of course, select the quantity that we want to add in terms of the USDT. Now, of course, this being a brand new account, we have not loaded this one up yet. But at this point, we would enter in the quantity by dragging up the slider or adding in the amount. Let's just say it was $1,000 worth. We can see at that point, we would pick up 0.017211 Bitcoin. We can then place that order and it will populate within the order book. And as price gravitates towards it, it would of course fill out that order. Perhaps the market is having a heavy pullback and you just want to pick up that asset to add to your position. Well, at this point, we would then come over to the market. And what this will then do is grab Bitcoin wherever the price is currently sitting. As we can see, $58,166. Once again, we want to pick up $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. At this point, we would simply smash that buy button and whatever the price is at, depending on positions that are sitting in the order book, we're looking at around about 0.017 Bitcoin. It will gravitate price to that level and fulfill your order instantly. So once we have purchased our Bitcoin, we then want to move it onto a hardware device. If you're looking for more information of how to move Bitcoin to your MetaMask wallet, the video in the top right corner is the video for you to watch next. So now we have bought and perhaps hodled our Bitcoin, we may want to take advantage of derivative trading, futures trading in particular. So back on this home screen, we want to come over to the futures tab. And in this instance, we're going to select the USDTM futures. And much like the spot side of things, futures looks largely the same. We have the trading view chart here, so you can put in your own analysis. We have the order book, so you can buy and sell where others are buying or selling, fulfilling your orders. But what's different this time is we're looking to whether enter into an isolated or a cross leverage position. My preferred instance here is isolated. It protects your account. 
And what we will, of course, be looking to do here is choose our leverage. Now, this all matters depending on the size of position you enter, how far you're looking to go, guys. Understanding trading can be complex. So join us down in our Discord, linked in the description down below, to get a better understanding of leverage trading. But if you already know how to leverage trade, you simply want to change your asset um, risk here. So whether you want to be on a small risk, 5x, 10x, whatever it may be, will depend on the trade you're looking to open up. For this instance, we're going to look at a long position of Bitcoin, a 10x long, and we want to open it. Again, we want to choose the price we wish to open this trade at. So we're going to target Bitcoin going to $58,000. And once again, we're going to open up a $1,000 position on Bitcoin. So we can see at this point, the liquidation price would be $52,441. But crucially, my take on this one, guys, this is my opinion, is I will always have a take profit and a stop loss on this trade. As we know, the long would be liquidated at $52,000. So we would want to protect our position. Let's just say we wanted to have our stop loss down at $55,000 and our take profit up there at $60,000. At this point, we would scroll down and look to open that long position. And this will then populate the risk reward ratios, etc., for the trade, opening up at $58,000, the quantity of 1.69 Bitcoin. The margin would be $980.20, and the liquidation price displayed at $52,441. Take profit, $60,000. Stop loss at $55,000. Understanding the risks, the rewards, Everything going on with leverage trade is not for the faint-hearted guys. Join us down in our Discord and we can talk more about leverage trading on BitGet. So there we have an, a comprehensive overview of the BitGet exchange. How to open an account, how to verify yourself, how to protect yourself with maximum levels of security, how to deposit USDT, USDC and fiat onto exchange, how to spot buy, how to leverage trade, that is your comprehensive guide for the BitGate exchange. Now we have put together a comprehensive list of all things you need to know in cryptocurrency. Perhaps you're interested to learn more about Ethereum and linked up in the top corner right here, guys, is a comprehensive breakdown of Ethereum and everything you do need to know about Ethereum. Select that link, guys, to watch that video next. I hope you've enjoyed today's update. I hope it was useful and informative. If it was, please do smash up the like button, select subscribe, Tap on that bell selecting all of the notifications guys, stay in tune with everything going on with the crypto market.